As the title of this lecture already indicates, in this lecture we are going to visualize the different machine states of our PLC application on the template. The idea behind this is that the HMI user, the operator, will have feedback on each screen for the actual machine state at any given moment. Of course you could visualize the state of the machine on a specific screen, but then the operator would have to navigate to this specific screen each time he or she would like to check the machine state. By visualizing the state on the template, the user will get a feedback of the machine state on every screen. So let's get started. We have our template open here, and we are going to use the color, the appearance of our rectangle frame here, to visualize the different machine states. So which states exactly do we want to visualize? We would like to visualize the different states of the state handler of our PLC application. So let's go to the PLC application quickly, and check out which states we have. Our state handler function is situated under the functions subgroup of the program group machine. So we open the block and we scroll down to the last couple of networks where the different machine states are defined. Here you can see that we have a ready state, which is defined as state 0, a running state defined as state 1, a faulty state defined as state 2, and a reset state defined as state 3. So we have four states in total, 0 to 3, and for each state we are going to display a different frame color on the template. Now that we know which machine states we need to visualize, let's go back to our template. In order to change the appearance of the frame depending on the machine state, we start by selecting the rectangle frame and going to its properties. Now in the animations tab here, you can see that we can set up an animation for the display of the object or for the movement of the object. We are going to add a color animation, so this is part of the display. So we open the display and we select Add New Animation. We are going to change the color, which is part of the appearance of the object, so we select Appearance. Here we need to assign the tag, which will define the appearance of the object. We want to display the state of the machine. So we select the PLC tag DB Machine State Handler State State. As we saw before in our PLC application, the state handler of our application has four states, 0 to 3, so we're adding those states down here. The only thing left now is to change the border color depending on the state. State 0 is our ready state, so we choose our default light gray color for this. The running state we will visualize with a green border color. State 2, which is the default state, is being visualized by a red border color. And to make it pop out even more than the other states, let's add flashing to it. When the faulty state is active, the frame will alternate between the background color, which is light gray, and the border color, which is red. For our final state 3, which is our reset state, we are choosing a blue border color. Now we have visualized the different states of our state handler on the template, and the state will be clearly visible on each screen. That concludes this lecture. In this section of the course, we have worked on the template of our application by adding a screen navigation area, an information bar, start-stop buttons, and a visualization for the different machine states. In the next section of the course, we are going to visualize the application process. We are going to work with different graphic types, graphic lists, custom graphics, animations and parameters. It's going to be a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to see you there. Thanks guys and see you on the next section.